Hello and welcome to another pen video from me, Penultimate Dave. So I have here another pen for review and yes, I haven't reviewed one of these pens for at least a little while. Um, this is a Twisby. So this is the new Twisby VAC 700R Iris. So you'll see here it comes in this standard Twisby box and it says here Twisby VAC 700R Iris vacuum filling fountain pen. So I think what I'll do here, I will unbox this pen and I will ink it up and we'll do a pen comparison, we'll do a writing sample. I'll also compare it to the original Twisby VAC 700R, which I also have in my collection, and a bunch of other Twisbys. So let's open this box. So it's pretty much standard sort of Twisby material. So you get a little bit of foam insert there. You get a Twisby care guide or user manual and this basically shows you how to open and close the vac filling mechanism and how to ink up that pen and you also have it in other languages as well and you also have about how to disassemble the pen if you wish to and also there is a spare o-ring as well that you can actually use there so that's a care guide and then you have this pen so if I remove it from this that's just the rest of the box which I'll move out of the way and then you have the Twisby VAC 700R in the iris and the reason why I wanted to get this is I do like these Twisby VAC 700Rs I have a bunch of Twisbys I have a mini uh, AL, I have a, a bunch of Twisby Diamond 580s as well, um, but I do have the VAC 700R and I like and actually prefer the VAC 700R a little bit more than the 580s and when I saw that this one was announced, uh, whew, I think it was back in, I want to say April, May time this year, there was a, a, a sneaky sort of uh, picture on Twisby's Instagram stories that they were working on this, and I spoke to a number of friends, uh, Lisa Saavedra, um, who works with Mark Backus, and uh, I, we both said that we wanted one of these, and I decided I was going to buy a bunch of these. Uh, I think at the time I said I was going to buy five, because I really like these. Well, I didn't actually buy five. Um, uh, I did buy two, though, uh, but these are really nice. Now, what I should say with these is that they have already sold out at a lot of retailers. So as with a lot of Twisbees, the special editions or limited editions tend to sell out pretty quickly. There's normally a second or third run. Uh, we still don't know if this is a special edition or if it's now going to be a regular lineup pen. Uh, I think a lot of us think that it probably will be special edition, but we don't know. So we'll just have to wait and see. So I'm really glad I was able to pick up two. So I think let's unbox this pen. So you get this plastic lid, which I'll move out of the way. And then you have these two clips that hold the pen in place. So if I remove those clips, and you then have the pen. So if I remove the base there, oh, actually the base I should show you, does actually have that on there as well. So this is the pen and this is really lovely because if you look at this, it has this iridescent sort of coating or colouring going on here. So it is a standard Twisby VAC 700R. You can see the way that the, the body here sort of tapers a little bit. Um, you get the standard Twisby cat finial there uh, and that's not coloured in any way. You then have this iridescent clip, which you can see there has texture to it. And strangely enough, that texture you can feel. It feels very pitted if I rub my finger or thumb over, over that material there. So this is very, very textured. Now, 
you do also have a slight colouring around here. It's a little bit hard to see, but there's a slight colouring going on there. You also have a colouring here uh, where it says VAC 700R as well. And you can see there as I rotate it, you then have the Twisby logo there and then the VAC 700R again. So um, you have the iridescence really on the cap band here, the or the clip band, the clip itself. You have it on the cap band here. You also have it down here as well on this ring by the PowerVac knob. And if I unscrew the pen, you will also see it on the nib there as well. And it's a little bit hard to try and get this iridescent sort of color going on there uh, with my studio lights. I'm hoping I can show some of that there, but I I'm seeing it really from about from the breather hole here to the tip of the tines. Now, I did get this with a medium. My other VAC 700R is a board. Uh, I, I guess for my sins, I did get two mediums. And I did think afterwards that perhaps I should have only got one medium and got one broad, because I do like the broad a lot. Uh, but I decided I would just get two mediums, and that's what I have at the moment. I might, if I do decide, I might get another one in a broad. Uh, I will just have to wait and see. Now... The only thing that I don't like about these Twisby VAC 700Rs is that this section is actually quite tapered down. And you'll see it here that it's quite a step down. It's quite a thin section. And I typically don't like thin sections in pens because I just find that I have fat fingers and I tend to grip a pen a little bit more because I feel that I can't feel the pen. So I tend to grip it a little bit harder and then I start getting hand cramp. But what I do find with the VAC 700Rs is I do find that holding the pen up here around the threads and around the body here where it flares out is for me a lot more comfortable. So I do typically hold it like this and this actually makes it a lot more comfortable for me. Now. You can post that cap, and it posts quite securely there. Now, uh, it is a power vac, um, so like, you won't actually get that engaging the knob there, which is good. Uh, but you can post that cap if you want to, and if you do post a cap, then clearly it is going to be quite long. Uh, I don't normally post a cap. I normally find that... Having a pen this size is actually perfectly fine in my hand. Even if I hold it up here a little bit more, then it's still very usable. So for me, I, I find this is quite good. Uh, you will see here it is a Twisby steel nib. It's not a gold nib. Twisby don't do gold nibs. They only do steel nibs. Um, now, I did actually think to start with that this feed might have been ebonite just because of the coloration going on there on that feed but I think it is just plastic uh, I don't think it came with an ebonite feed uh, it's normally a lot harder to cut very thin sort of slots uh, to create fins on ebonite so I think it is ABS plastic but I did think that that color there of the feed was a little bit different but for me, in the size of my hand, I'm finding that this is actually quite a nice size. So I think what I want to do is I want to compare it to a VAC 700R, just a regular version. And I have one here. And unfortunately, this one is inked up already. So this is the standard VAC 700R. And this is the iridescent or iris version. And you can see there that they are pretty much identical. Uh, the clip on the original VAC 700R is textured as well. It is pitted, so you do still have that same feel there. But you might be able to see here around the top of that sort of cap finial where the clip uh, band is, that you might see that there's a little bit more iridescence there on the iris, which is this one here. And if I unscrew the caps, I'll show you here the nibs and bodies. So 
the nibs are the same. Uh, this one is the original VAC 700R with a broad nib. And then I've got a medium nib on this one. So the nibs are the same. If I just zoom in a little bit more there. But you do actually see that there's some nice coloration going there on there on that iridescent nib. Uh, in terms of the section there and the threads, it's the same uh, sort of drop down that you would get on both pens. And I try and not get ink all over me, but you'll notice though that this piston knob is colored or black. It's not clear here. So really, like these are, if I just put the cap back on, really the same pens. It's just that they've taken the VAC 700R and they've gone and made it into a colorful iridescent version. That's really the only difference. It's slightly more expensive. Not a lot though. Uh, I think this was around about £10, £8, £10 more than the VAC 700R but uh, I think it's worth it, honestly. So I think let's now do a size check. We'll do a weight check and then we'll do a pen comparison. So the full length of this pen, we are looking at about 145 millimeters in length. The length of the cap, we are looking at 65 millimeters in length. The length of the body, we are looking at about 132 millimeters in length to the tip of the tines. So that's not a bad size pen. Let's do a weight check. The full weight of the pen, uninked, we are looking at just over 34 and a half grams. And the weight of the cap, we are looking at just under 13 grams. And then the weight of the pen is just over 16 grams. So I think with that, let's go and do a comparison with other pens. So from left to right, we have an Opus 88 Calaro demonstrator. We have a Fine Writing International, and this is the bronze demo. We have a Twisby, and this is a Mini AL. We have one, two, three Twisby Diamond 580 ALs. We have a Twisby Diamond 580 RB, RB standing for red and blue, it's pretty simple. Uh, we have a Twisby VAC 700R, and then as I mentioned, I have purchased two of these so far. We've got two Twisby VAC 700Rs in the Iris. So I think with that, let's go and ink up this pen. Now, there's gonna be a couple of inks I thought I would put in here. I'm like, this, for me, I could almost put any color in here. Anything that really has a blue, a pink, magenta, uh, anything purple, violet, lavender. So I was thinking about maybe that we would try diamond violet here. And here we have the ink bottle. So we will try and ink this up. So this is a power vac filler. So before I ink it up, I just want to show you what you do. You unscrew this knob, you pull it back, you immerse this in ink, and then you push it down. You hear a massive suction, and then ink will start to fill up the pen. So let's see if I can do this without making a mess. So first off, you will see that there's not a lot of ink there. So I will do that again a second time. And then you will get a lot more ink. So let me just wipe this off. And we will put the cap back on the ink. 
so I don't knock the ink over. I actually knocked a bottle, well, actually not a bottle, but I knocked a Penida pen filler that I forgot to put the cap on recently, and it did make a lot of mess. I think I dumped about five milliliters of ink. Not a lot, but <laughs> five convertifuls or maybe two, two and a half piston fulls of a pen uh, on my carpet. So you can sort of guess, I get sort of what it would have looked like. So let's do a writing sample. So this is the Twisby VAC 700R Iris. Now this is the first time I've actually written with this nib. So I don't normally, with Twisbees, uh, more lately, go with medium nibs. I normally go with a broad nib. And I'm finding actually this is quite a nice nib. It's not as smooth as my broad nib, but it's fairly smooth. Um, it's quite a wet writer as well. So it's a medium, it's a still nib. And the ink in here today is Diamine Violet, which actually I think could be a nice match for the iridescent color here. Now, in terms of line variation, no pressure. I am seeing a medium line, which is what I would expect. Now, if I apply more pressure, it's a steel nib. I can maybe just coax about twice the line variation out of this. But bearing in mind, it is a steel nib, so you're not going to get much flex out of this at all. But you can see there, there's no hard starts or skips. It's actually writing quite well. Uh, straight out of the box, just inked up. No issues whatsoever. Now, if I do an ink swatch here. We'll do another one. So, immediately, you can see here that the downstrokes are a little bit wetter than the cross strokes and that typically is what you will see on most pens now i'm finding this is quite a wet pen it's going this is an a4 page and it's already going about half the way across the page here so it's actually quite a wet pen and this to me is actually writing a lot like the broad twisby vac 700r that i have it's writing i'd say like under pressure it's writing more towards maybe a medium to broad uh not quite a broad though so this is i think actually showing itself as a medium nib which is what i had ordered and that's what is stamped on the nib so what do i like and what do i not like about the twisbees well to be honest i like them i've not had a single twisby fail and i've got quite a few i've got what one two three four five six seven eight Twisbees, and I've not had a single one fail. Okay, I'm not using them every day for like the last four years, but I've not had a single one fail. I've not had one crack. I know some people have. For me, though, I, I like the Diamond 580, um, but I do prefer the VAC 700R a little bit more because of the VAC filling mechanism here and the larger nib because it does actually have a number six size nib and i can show you here if i sort of compare to what is a i've got a 580 nib here and this is a 580 in a stub nib and you've got the 700r and i typically do prefer number six size nibs and that is a number six size nib on the right in the VAC 700R. So for me, like I do prefer that. I, I actually prefer having larger nibs rather than smaller nibs. The only thing that I do dislike is that I find the section is a little bit narrow here and I do find that these threads are quite pronounced with a step up to the threads and a step up to the body. And I do kind of wish that Twisby wouldn't do that, but 
for me, I, it doesn't bother me when I'm writing with the pen. Um, I, I will typically hold it around the threads here and I will find that it's actually quite comfortable to write with. So I like the number six size nib. I love that this has the uh, iridescence coloring going on here because that is really nice. That makes it quite a nice looking pen. And I just think it's a really, really nice pen. I think that paying that little bit more, maybe the eight to 10 pounds more, uh, for that iridescent colouring, I think is worth it. Honestly, um, I I think it actually makes the Vac 700R look a lot better. So outside of that, really, there's nothing else that really I dislike about the pen. I I think it's a it's a good pen. I know my Vac 700R is a good workhorse writer pen. Likewise, my previously my Fi Diamond 580s have been workhorse writing pens. So these pens actually are very good. You can chuck them around, chuck them in your bag. You don't have to necessarily worry about putting them in a pen case unless you really want to. So that's my review of the Twisby VAC 700R in the Iris iridescent colouring. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next pen video. Bye-bye.